Hey, what's up? This is Justin with Wingsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI tracks and instrument tracks, how to use them, and how to record your MIDI data. Check it out. So to create a new track, Shift Command N, then go to MIDI tracks and create, and then there's your MIDI track. Now it's a little tricky because you can't instantiate your instrument plugins on that MIDI track. You need another track to work with, and what you want to use is auxiliary tracks. So again, Shift Command N for new track, go to aux, and then mono stereo, depending on which instrument plugin you're going to use. In my case, it's mono. Then you want to go to your aux channel and your inserts. That's where you instantiate your instrument plugin on. So I'm using expand. Then you want to go to your MIDI channel and go to the output and change it to that plugin and the corresponding channel. You want to leave the input on top to all because that's all the MIDI data coming in. So now you need the aux track so you can preview the sounds. So when during playback or real time playing, you can hear the sounds as audio and the MIDI channel is going to record all that MIDI data. So I'll show you right now. You just arm that MIDI channel for record, and then you could record your MIDI data. You know, as you can see, it recorded my MIDI data right there, and I hear, I hear it back through my aux channel. But what's really cool, which you can do, is if you have a plugin like Expand that has multiple outputs, you can get, you can record them all at the same time. So this one has four, expand has four, and I just changed them right here. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just gonna pick some quick presets just so you get the idea of what's going on. And then you wanna create three more MIDI tracks because you already have the one created. So shift command N, change it to three, and then MIDI tracks. So now you want to do the same thing and go to the output of those MIDI tracks and then change it to the corresponding channels. So channel two, three, and four. So now I can quickly hear four different sounds. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and four. So now if I'm working on a track, I could have four different sounds that I like and I could preview each one and see which one I like the best really fast instead of going back to the plugin and changing the preset there. Now what you can do also that's really cool is you hold down option, click on record and it arms all those tracks for record. So you're going to record the MIDI data of four different sounds at once. It's probably going to sound like a bunch of mashed up stuff right now but you know just so you got the idea if you're working with harmony parts and things like that you could record them one shot in real time real fast so sounds horrible but you know you have that option to do that which is really cool and you could work real fast with that stuff now another way that you can work with midi tracks is you can use instrument tracks. Now instrument track is generally the same as a MIDI track, but you don't need the auxiliary track with it. It's got the audio and the MIDI on that one channel. So there's my instrument track. And then what you wanna do is instantiate your instrument plugin on the inserts. So I'll use vacuum for this one. And then I'll be able to control it with my MIDI controller. So this is, you know, if you have just quick ideas you want to get down or you know you only want to work with one sound, really easy. Put it on an instrument track and then you could arm it for recording and then record your MIDI data and hear back your sounds on that one channel without creating MIDI channel and the NOx. 
You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com. Oh, <laughs>